types of course uh, this we have already discussed while discussing the oceanography topics types of course we have the classification given by shefford and we have the classification given by d w johnson johnson talks about emergent coast it talks about submergent coast there are neutral coasts there are composite coasts i hope you remember this johnson's classification and we have shefford's classification he talks about primary coasts he talks about secondary coasts so those which are formed by non marine factors we call those as primary coasts which are formed because of non marine factors and marine is not responsible okay so upliftment of the water so i think you know this okay so type of coast shefford's and johnson's classification so i'm moving on from here we'll move on towards the marine cycle of erosion this again is applying this is applying the davis model the marine cycle of erosion again talks about the stage based or the time based development of the coasts and this was suggested by davis but the actual model was given much later by johnson again for davis marine cycle is not an example of a normal cycle and they modify because of some other reasons the the, the johnson model this was a more acceptable one but more or less this is based on davis ideas itself the small two three lines of introductions and then we say that the stages uh, develop in two ways what i mean by this is that there are two cycles we have the cycle of of submerged coasts and we have the cycle of emergent coasts submerged coastline can be because of okay a relative rise of sea level okay submerged coasts the initial okay coastline becomes irregular the initial coastline has rias and fjords rias are submerged river valleys and fjords are submerged glacial valleys with the uh, headlands there are projections there are bays there are creeks this is how the process starts and thereafter what happens thereafter you have the youthful stage in the youthful stage the wave action starts and this results in erosion erosion of the features in the youthful stage the the irregularities they will start disappearing they are eroded cliffs are formed so char panch landforms yaad rakhna the cliffs are formed the irregularities are eroded and in the later youth we also have the formation of depositional features so beaches are formed sand bars are formed uh, spits and hooks are formed okay beaches are formed sand bars are formed spits are formed hooks are formed so it starts with a wave action pehle erosion hota hai the irregularities are disappearing cliffs are formed and in the later youth we have the depositional features such as the beaches the sand bars the spits and the hook then we have the mature phase in the mature phase okay there is stability of the coastline coastline and the coastline has become smoother it has almost become straight okay and towards the late mature the depositional features these also get eroded and in the senile stage okay the overall landscape reduces in height it becomes overall more and more flatter but then your textbook says if you look at page number 461 last paragraph says that uh, uh, flattening of the coast and the senile stage is a hypothetical stage because in most cases there are sea level fluctuations and it gets disrupted okay the senile stage generally the seas never attain 
this is more of a hypothetical now come to it the cycle of erosion for the emergent coastline for the emergent coastline this happens because of relative fall in the sea level the submergent coastline happens because of relative rise of sea level land gets submerged and the emergent coastline happens because of relative fall of the sea level so something like this is the negative base level change and in this case the initial okay coast is more smoother it is more straight the initial coast in the emergent coastline will have exposed sand bars will have lagoons uplifted terraces we can also have uh, backwaters so this is generally a very gentle slopes so this is the initial like the stage of the emergent coastline and then what we have is the youthful stage the youthful stage in this case starts with the sandbars the splits formation lagoons okay they become okay more prominent youthful stages and uh, in this case there are a lot of swamps also so you cannot differentiate much between the initial stage and the youthful stage there are swamps but towards the late youth erosion starts and because of erosion the sandbars are pushed towards the sea uh, the sandbars they migrate migrate and the seaward side starts getting seeped late youth what happens is that there is migration of the sandbars and the slopes they start steepening initially it is very gentle slopes but in the late youth the slopes start getting more and more steeper in the mature phase there is stronger erosion the lagoons the swamps they all get destroyed the features the coast becomes again straight and becomes gentler initially there is steepening of the slopes towards the late mature the slopes are now becoming gentler and again just as in case of submergent stage uh, cycle even in the emergent one the senile stage is hypothetical because sea level changes can disrupt the cyclic progression of the life cycle so initial in case of submergent it's irregular initial in case of emergent is regular in the youthful stage the erosion has started in the youthful stage erosion starts during the late mature in the senile stage mature stage there is stability stabilization and in mature stage yahan par bhi there is a kind of stabilization and the senile stage in both cases are hypothetical the slopes both the slopes of the sand bars and also the slopes of the coast and the shelf okay so if you want to look up and read something page number 461 and 462 my suggestion to you is the textbook will have too much of details so you write the answer on the basis of what i am telling you put it at the table you want to put it and maybe take a couple of points from your textbooks okay so we want the answer to be within one and a half page maximum two pages don't go beyond that this can be a 10 mark question or at best it can be a 15 mark question i don't see this as a 20 25 mark question